Designing, building, and changing up my personal workspace is one of the many things I enjoy experimenting with and developing over time. Hi friends, it's Brian Lay, and today I want to share with you my current workspace that I use for both my full-time job and my creative work. This is where I take all of my meetings, I literally write here, I film, I edit, I spend most of my time at this computer. I want to document this journey as my needs and career progresses over time. I currently live at home with parents, so having a workspace that works for me is very important. I also want to share with you my thought process as I try to figure out what makes a workspace for me productive and happy at the same time. First step for me is location. For me personally, I tried setting up my desk in my bedroom, but it got really hard to separate work from my personal life. So I decided just to split the two all together so that when I go to my room, it's my personal time where I watch anime, I read, and just, you know, chill out. So kept that separate. Currently, I chose a spot in my living room where it's carpeted. Um, it's nice and cozy so that I have to get up and then go to work. With location in mind, it's now time to build a foundation. And the first one is for building the desk. So this is the Flexi Spot EN1 Adjustable Electric Standing Desk. It's 48 inches by 30 inches wide, which means I have plenty of room on the desk to build my setup. I got a standing desk because I'm basically on my computer all day long, so I need time to kind of stretch my legs and stand up or else I'm just sitting around all day. The desk has an LED control panel where you can adjust the height between 28 inches to around 47 inches. I have mine set for 28.5 for sitting down desk mode and then raise it up to 40 inches for standing mode. I would rate the desk around a 4 out of 5 stars. It's sturdy, I like it. The only issue I have with it is when it's in standing mode, it is a little bit wobbly. Um, I tried reinforcing it, but yeah, it just gets a little bit wobbly. It's not too bad, but it's enough for me to notice it. The desk is also on the pricier end on Amazon at around $300. I had the desk for over a year and a half now. I still really like it. If you're looking at a cheap alternative, I still rock the IKEA desk um, that every college student has. You can probably find one on Facebook Marketplace for like $20. I still have it. Um, it's awesome and I kind of just carry it around because it's super light. All right, posture check. This is the Ikea Renberg chair. Uh, I think I butchered that name for sure. It cost me around, I think $70 new when I bought it like two or three years ago. I love the look and feel of this chair. It's like my big boy chair out of college. Before that, I, was, I just had like a regular, you know, dining chair table <laughs> as my desk setup. I will rate this chair like a 3.5 out of five stars. I like it, uh, but definitely I have this pillow to help with the arch in my back. So I wish the chair was kind of just built already with that. I didn't know that chairs were so expensive. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll buy a new chair. <laughs> now that we have both the desk and the chair as the foundation, it's time to actually get into the desk setup. So every desk needs a monitor. I firmly believe that. So I am rocking the LG 27 UK 850W monitor. That is a mouthful. This is a 27 inch 4K screen display with lots of ports in the back. It has USB, USB-C, aux, HDMI, and display port. As you can see, there's a lot connected to it, but it runs along the back very nicely. What I love most about this monitor is that everything connects via USB-C. So I literally need one cord and I just connect it to my laptop and everything's connected. My keyboard, my mouse, uh, my light up mouse pad, which we'll all get to in a second. But that's what I love about it since I have two laptops. I have one for my actual corporate work job and then one that you use for like my creative lab. So it's easy to just plug and unplug back in. I had this monitor for over three years now. I completely love it. Uh, but this is probably the priciest item of this entire video. I'm looking at the price right now on Amazon. It's priced at $562 basically, not including tax yet but I remember getting on Black Friday for around $350 to $400. Yes, it's very expensive. It hurt when I bought it for sure. I justified the price of the monitor because of the ease of connecting everything by just one cable. And also I needed the nice color correction because I was a photographer, so I needed accurate color. But there are definitely monitors out there that are cheaper. I just was not doing the great research, but I saw a lot of people who had great reviews on this monitor and I will rate this a five out of five. Uh, probably minus 0.5 based off of the price, but overall a very nice monitor, very sleek design, and 
yeah, it's a great build quality for sure. The monitor will be useless without a laptop or laptop stand. So the laptop itself is a 14 inch MacBook Pro M1 chip. In my previous video, this was a gift from my friends. So I cherish it a lot. Uh, so this is my personal laptop and then my corporate laptop is also a MacBook. This is the Macaulay, Macaulay, Macaulay? This is the Macaulay laptop stand. It's a very nice build quality stand. I think this is the longest item I have of this entire setup. I think I had this for like four years now. Bought it back when I was a freshman in college. It is a very sturdy laptop stand. Like it's, the build quality is very nice. The fan is also detachable. So if you're, you don't want the extra wire sticking out, you can take it out. Or if your laptop gets hot, you can just connect it by USB. Um, I really love it. Um, my housemates also use it a couple of times as well. I don't see it on Amazon anymore. I'm sure there's like other designs as well, but I think it was around 30 to $40. Uh, definitely 4.5 out of five. The minus 0.5 is because you can't adjust the height, but for my personal uses, this is totally fine. To control the whole system, I have the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse. Personally, I don't game that much online because of my previous laptop that just didn't run anything so I can really play any games. Uh, but my old housemate, he had this mouse and I used his computer a couple times and I just love the way the mouse kind of like fit in the palm of my hand. Um, it's wireless, only I have to charge it a couple of times. So I love the mouse. It was priced around 120 on Amazon, but I got it on I think Prime Day for like $90. Definitely a five out of five for me. You can adjust the weight with some of the weight in the the weight stuff inside. There's also shortcuts that you can program onto the uh, the mouse pad itself. Definitely um, a very nice mouse to have in the palm of my hand. And it's been very useful. For every mouse, you will need a mouse pad. So this mouse pad is the Utex Smart Large Extended Lo Soft LED Mouse Pad. <sighs> that was a long, that was a long name. It is 31.5 and 11.8 inches, uh, which gives me plenty of room to have everything on the thing. I'm a sucker for LED lights, so the nice lighting on the mouse pad just, just makes me a little bit of joy, you know? It's kind of nice. It's priced around, I think, $20 or $30 on Amazon. Five out of five stars from me. I'll probably get a different mouse pad in the future, but for now, sucker for the LED lights. Sorry, that's just me. Your typing experience will definitely make it or break your work from home and remote life for sure. So this is the RK Royal Nudge. This is the RK Royal Nudge RK, what? This is the RK Royal Nudge RK71 mechanical keyboard. Probably said the name wrong, but it's fine. This is a gift from my housemate, shout out to Martin, uh, because he had a different, like a customized keyboard and he didn't need this anymore. And so he gifted it to me, like how portable this keyboard is. Sometimes I bring it with me when I'm traveling as well. It's around $50, it connects by USB. Uh, USB-C or you could connect it wireless by Bluetooth. So that's always a bonus to keep it pretty portable Definitely a five out of five for me for the keyboard for the basic use of it I personally am looking to build my own keyboard in the future I don't know much about it But I definitely saw my housemates and a couple friends of mine have it and it's very nice to type on So that is an upcoming project in the future that I will probably record I love just kind of having the ease of writing things down I'm currently experimenting with what type of notebooks work for me. I used to have this Amazon notebook that had a to-do list, but it was so long and there's a bunch of sections on the right side that I didn't really use, so I felt like I was wasting pages anyways. So I decided to get this notebook from Daiso. I think it's like around $5, $5 or less. And it's just blank sheets of paper where um, I just create my own to-do list at the top. And then if I have notes or ideas throughout the day, I just like write them down. So it's just right there next to me. It's very small. I love the, you know, just the simple plain design of this notebook. There's no designer. There's nothing pretty much. It's just a basic notebook and I love it. The funniest thing on my desk is that I have a single coaster. Why do I have a single coaster? Cause this I took from my sister's house and I just keep one on my desk and that's where my coffee or water goes. Hey, it works perfectly, so. <laughs> the most recent addition to my entire desk setup are these RGB LED lights from Govi. I'm a sucker for LED lights. So yeah, it's just a nice vibe to kind of change it up once in a while. Definitely nice, give it a five out of five. It's the most recent item on the desk, so. On the right side of my desk, I decided to put this plant that my mom has. I want to learn more about plants. I'm not a big plant person yet. 
maybe. On my left side, I decided to bring out my bookshelf that I have for my bedroom. It just has all the books that I have and at the bottom I just kind of stuff a bunch of stuff. On top is a Pokeball. I love Pokemon. It's there for the nice aesthetic and vibe of it. That is basically the entirety of my desk. Hopefully you got some insight to how I built my own workspace and desk space. Again, it's always changing and evolving. I remember again, I had the Ikea desk and I literally just had my laptop and the laptop stand. The best desk setup is the one that works for you. Whether it's super minimalistic or it's super vibrant and personalized, it's up to you. I try to add an element of both into mine and I'm also, again, not an expert at this, but hopefully you enjoyed the process and the video. Thank you again so much for watching. If you like it, please drop a thumbs up. If you wanna join, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, catch you later and thanks for vibing.